Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be picking back up on the Cup Cadet 109. And this video is gonna be specifically about the engine. Now, as you can see, I've got three engines here in front of me. And I need to decide which one I wanna use. So, this is the 10 horse that was originally in the tractor. We've heard this one run before. Uh, it looked like the oil had never been changed on it. But it ran. Smoked. But it ran. So, uh, cylinder looks good. Uh, I think we can clean this one up and we would be a good candidate for rebuild. Then I got this one. This is a 12 horse. So, we got 10 horse. This is a 12 horse. Now, this one, uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, it spins, and let me see if I can. This one, I loosened this up earlier just so. But this just spins free. I hear it hitting on something. And sometimes sometimes depending on how this is laying, you can actually it feels like the rod or something kind of jams it up and it won't turn. So I think this engine's had some kind of catastrophic failure got this engine. This is a 14 horse. This engine does have compression. Spins free. The only thing wrong with it is the bottom's rotted out of the cover here, which seems to be quite common. Uh, this one has, the cover for this one is actually good surprising because it was completely packed uh, as you can see look how nasty this is uh, it was just it was really bad but the cover was good both of these have oil that oil seems to have a lot of gas in it That oil just smells like old used oil. Or the oil in this one is definitely contaminated. I don't think I'm ever gonna use the PTO on the tractor. Um, I'm not ever gonna put a deck on it. I'd possibly use the thing just for you know pulling stuff around, maybe putting the, uh, the plow on the front. Um, but I'm not gonna use a deck, so. Not really concerned. This PTO bearing is like seized on there. So we've got to be able to get that off. Uh, for this one, this is like all seized. Uh, I really just, I, I think what I'm going to do, I think I am going to take the bottom of this off real quick. And let's just take a look inside there. See what the heck's going on. It's a little dark over here. But also one significant thing I'm going to do too. That's the 109 sitting right there. What we're actually going to do though, is we're going to take this frame right here. And this is the frame that I'm going to use. We're going to clean this frame up and we're going to paint it. This one actually... Let me switch cameras and take the bottom of this off. Let's figure out why this thing spins free. All right, so what we'll do here is got this engine set up here so that I can drop it on my foot.
Uh, do you hear that? I don't know if the camera got that or not, but there's chunks of metal coming out. That's not supposed to happen. Well, that oil is awfully sparkly. It's definitely had some kind of catastrophic failure. You may want to take a guess. What is it? The uh, counterbalance gears or whatever they are that. Tell you what, before we pull that bottom off, let's just uh, just take this head off. This plug was seized in there pretty good, uh, but it actually doesn't look that bad. Looks like it was running good up until it wasn't. There's that good old oil of smell that comes off of head bolts when you take them out. It's kind of like burnt oil. I kind of like it. So there's the head. A lot of uh, rat turds and hair or whatever crap is that they build in their nest. Um, not a lot of carbon. Like I said, I think this thing was running pretty good. As you can see, when I spin this, valves are working like they're supposed to, but something's going on there. It's not stuck. Oh, there you go. So obviously something is disconnected there. So let's get this on the side. We'll get the bottom off. Hopefully I got this tipped enough where I can lose oil all over the place, but probably not. pieces falling around in there. Ooh. So it was definitely rod broke. Well, that crank, it is just boogered up. This is full of metal. Here's some teeth in here. I bet you know what? Let's see. Where's the flashlight? I'm gonna look in there better. So I don't really know what happened 
first, but. So the piston seems fine. Well, no, I take that back. Look at the top right there. It's pretty galled up right there. Oh, right there. Right there. Whew. Look at the bottom of the rod. I don't know. The way that uh, it's kind of got some metals discolored. So it's probably hot. And it just had a catastrophic failure. So. So this one's got the old style balance gear and I don't know where the uh, I was trying to figure out where the teeth came from I mean there's Some kind of teeth off of something. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's probably why they call these grenade gears, but man, I don't know if it's gonna be able to show it. Watch that. See if you can see that. See that gear back there in the back? The one that's not turning. That, that's what happened. Um, I don't know if it's just the metal that did this to the crankshaft. Uh, not really sure which one happened first, but so that balance gear is exploded, destroyed, and this crankshaft is just destroyed. You can see the cylinder back in there is pretty galled up. Um, tells like beat on. I I don't know. I'm not really sure what happened first, but. That's what that stuff is. That's the balance gears, balance gear on the other side of the crankshaft. So, so there you have it. This, uh, again, this is the cast iron Kohler 12 horsepower engine. Um, seems like when I read about these, the 12 horse seemed to be the worst about vibration and these gears blowing up so I don't know what it is but I know a lot of people say they take them out this one didn't have that feature uh, I'm guessing that the 14 horse probably does uh, some okay parts in it but I don't know is that the block cracked if you can see that but see that back there 
I can't tell if that's a crack. It looks like the block is cracked. So. This block is probably junk. Everything is kind of sparkly. It's got like metal shavings in it and stuff. So I don't know. The whole thing's probably junk. This is my preference right here. This is the one I want to go with. <clears throat> the 12 horse we can rule out. There's definitely no way we're going to go with that one. But this one. It's a little bit. But it's not bad. It's not bad for what it is. It's got a little bit of carbon on the. I'm going to cut this one off. Now that we know what we're going to use, the next episode, we'll tear this one down, clean it up. Thanks for watching.